Let's talk about NVIDIA B20. Yeah, you know, we don't typically talk about rumors unless they're, I don't know, some, I don't know, let's say go into the talk track stuff we've talked about uh, before. But a lot of things happened over the last couple of weeks. I did a few, uh, I did two uh, broadcast TV appearances uh, to talk through NVIDIA and things like China. But there were, um, if you recall, there were some comments that Biden made and Trump made about Taiwan. And that sent, sent a lot of the stocks crashing that were related to TSMC. Uh, TSMC came out with a, just an amazing uh, earnings report that we covered on, on the last pod. But here we are. Um, the uh, State Department um, has put export controls. This was uh, about 18 months ago. Uh, a decree that's saying, hey, if your GPU density performance density and total performance is in with a certain matrix, uh, you have to ask for permission to be able to sell it. Hey, if it's in the green, you don't need to ask us. Uh, if it's in the red, which is called the license zone, NAC ineligible, don't even try, uh, don't do this. And and there were, there were rumors that NVIDIA was doing this um, on a prior series, I, which I wrote, an analysis on that takes you through all the limits and the process that the State Department or the excuse me, the Commerce Department goes through. But net net, the rumor is a cut down Blackwell 200, a B200 called the B20 that fits into this green uh, or or yellow area where uh, Nvidia would need permission uh, to sell that uh, inside of 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 China. So. Uh, a lot of different conversations going on around there. Uh, I, I believe this is likely uh, true. Um, and I don't believe that, you know, NVIDIA is trying to skirt some export uh, law uh, out there. They're a smart company. They're not dumb. They're not going to try to skirt this stuff. Now, there's a lot of stuff coming in through the back door. I made this uh, comment. I mean, a uh, an H, you know, H100 uh, is about the size of a carton of cigarettes. And you can very much easily bring that into to China through about a zillion uh, different ways. Again, Nvidia is not condoning this, uh, but you know there's no way to phone home to to, to know that you know it's it's being used in China. So I, I I think you know it would be a positive sign for Nvidia to be able uh, to do that keeps NVIDIA still in the game in China because the last thing you want is the indigenous uh, companies like Huawei who has a kind of capable uh, uh, accelerator uh, out there. But, um, and this, by the way, none of this is unique to NVIDIA. Uh, AMD and Intel have to abide by uh, all of these rules. Yeah, Pat, um, China's a massive market. Every one of these companies would be foolish to not be thinking about how to build a product to support the um, interests of Chinese companies that want to benefit from AI. It's a, it's a fine line because it's kind of like not every company in the U.S. is affiliated with our government and not every business in China is affiliated with the Chinese, uh, you know, national or communist party that runs the country. Um, and, and the reason I point that out is because I think we conflate those things sometimes. Like the, the controls have to do largely with defense related items where they don't want them to get the most powerful compute capabilities that could be used in some way, uh, both for uh, actual defense and military activities, as well as sort of what I would call a hacking and cyber and other things that powerful AI chips could do to, to create chaos. Uh, having said that, you know, there's businesses in China like there are here in the United States that are banks, that are healthcare uh, organizations, that are manufacturing, that want to build next generation uh, technologies with AI, and they they need GPUs to do it. And so not having access to the China market is an incredible miss for any of these companies. And of course, NVIDIA, with its current positioning, wants to get in, seed the market, win customers, get them on NIMS, get them on CUDA, do it now. Seriously, do it now, though. No, that's, I'm smiling because that's a really, really good point, you know. While it's red hot. I mean, yeah. once they're in, 
the, all, what we do know is once this market has been seeded, the unseeding, so in our data showing almost 93% of enterprise GPUs are NVIDIA. And the bottom line is, is that if NVIDIA doesn't mess up, no one's going to leave the platform. Yeah. They're going to keep writing code to NVIDIA hardware. And so literally at this point, if NVIDIA doesn't mess up and now concede one of the other biggest economies in the world, it's it just puts them in the driver's seat for the for the long term. And by, by the way, that leaves Intel, AMD, um, all these companies building accelerators, the cloud instances, about 7% of the market <laughs> to go fight after. Now the market will get bigger, but everything else is gonna be really hard work. You did a good job on Yahoo Finance, Pat, when you went on and talked about this. I thought it was a, you know, I thought it was a good um, sort of overall perspective, but that, that's mine. Gotta go get that market, foolish not to. And to your point, one other thing is export controls aren't stopping gray market. Never have, never will. Just being Dude, I remember uh, I was at AMD in 2001. I know we've got 20 minutes and three topics, but uh, um, <laughs> right. there were export controls into Iran. And there was a picture on the front of the USA Today business. This is, you know, uh, and there in the background uh, was a uh, an AMD uh, chip in a box, a bunch of processors in a box uh, that, that were basically, you know, and, you know, banned uh from from iran so oh yeah this is uh this is the this is the thing you know it just is what it is i i would think you would think with things like uh blockchain and other technologies this stuff could be tracked but i also have said to a certain extent in history pat you know this isn't like a weird conspiracy theory or anything but i just don't know that people want to i mean you know it's like we don't really need cash anymore but i think there's just these some odd reasons that we actually want to have the ability to buy things and have no one know about them uh it's just it's the way the world goes right 